Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about what the hell happened to the computer book section at all the bookstores. <laughs> Okay, so I'm coming to you from the Kennebec Bridge in Skowhegan, Maine. The weather here is beautiful today, although a little bit cold, right? The scenery is absolutely amazing, right? Uh, and tomorrow I fly back to, to England, so this is the last full day here in Maine. It's, it's, been, it's been a really good time, right? So, but today I want to talk a little bit about bookstores, because one of the things, every time I come back to the States, one of the things I like to do, especially when I come back by myself, without the kids as I like to go to like all the big bookstores and like the big book chains like Barnes and Noble there's one called books a million that kind of stuff when I go with the kids they never want to go to the bookstore so you know when I go on my own that's that's what I like to do, just spend hours in there but like every time I go to a bookstore I go to the two sections I don't know if you guys are the same I go to the computer books and I go to the business books right and one of the things that I've noticed over the last several years is how the computer book sections are they're just shrinking right when it comes to like technology books and programming books you know it used to be that you know every time we want to learn a new technology you would go find a book on it or you would you know order one from Amazon or whatever sit down and read it but it's the pace of technology moves so fast that it's no longer feasible to do that I mean it, it, and you know I started to think about when was the last time I actually bought like a physical book and I think I remember it it was like it was head first design patterns and I think I bought that thing back in I think it was like 20, 2009 I mean I bought loads of uh, uh, technology books on like the Kindle and stuff since then and on tablets and using like services like Pact and everything like that and, you know, that's something I do regularly in like PDF formats but even then by the time uh, a, you know a technology like a new language say like Angular 2 or, or whatever's new you know React or Preact all this kind of stuff when that stuff becomes mainstream enough to be published a lot of times the the information is too late so it's it's like not even worth investing in a big book in fact if you go into like the computer book sections now it's like all it's either meant for old people like you know iPads for seniors or it's like um you know uh Windows 7 you know, there's like Windows 7 for dummies all the four dummies books and stuff like that so anyway my question to you today is what was the last computer book you actually bought? Like either you know digital and then also uh, you know hardback and uh, you know and you know, how do you think things are changing? Anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.